Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. It's been almost two days that iOS 18.1 is out, and I really want to make um, this battery life saving tips video so you can enhance the performance of battery life of your iPhone. So this video is divided into three different sections. In first section, I will talk about the basic tips. In the second section, I will talk about the ultimate tips. And in the third section, I will talk about how you can improve the battery life by analyzing the daily usage. So let's begin with the very first um, section that is basic tips. So starting with the very first one is sometimes people do put their phone sides and they don't lock it or they can forget to lock it. And during that time, the screen is on and it is consuming battery. Well, what you can do is you can go to settings, you can go to display and brightness and from here, you can turn on the auto lock and you can keep it to 30 seconds or even one minute so it auto locks and don't consume battery also many people don't know that there is a hidden setting in this um, the settings app from where you can turn on the auto brightness many people what do is they use this brightness most of the time it stays here and if they want to like change it they just do by this one although um, according to your atmosphere, the auto brightness work even more better and help to enha uh, enhance the battery life. So what you can do is you can go to the settings over here, then to the accessibility option over here, display and text size, go all the way down. There's an option of auto brightness, as you can see. You can turn this all on and it's gonna help you a lot to save the battery life. Also, when you go back from here and you go to the motion over here and in the motion, you can turn this reduce motion on. And when you turn this on, what happens? It, you, the, all the animations will go on. Like if I go back, this is how it go back. If I open any app, this is how it looks like. Well, also it helps to save a lot of battery life. So you can do this if you want to. Also, whenever you go to a different location or new location, your Wi-Fi tries to find different networks. From here, you can turn this off. When it is trying to find networks, it is consuming battery. So you can go to the Wi-Fi, then go to the ask to join networks. And from here, you can turn this off. If you want to, it also help to save a bit of a battery life. Also your whole iPhone, there are a lot of haptics going on. Whenever anything happen, haptics engine, um, that engine is tapping engine is used and when it is used it uh, uses more resources that also consumes a lot of battery so what you can do is you can turn off haptics for that what you need to do is you need to go to sound and haptics over here haptics option you can go for never play for the ring tools or you can go all the way down over here and from here you can turn off the haptics as you can see and this is going to help a lot to save your battery you will also go to the keyboard feedback from here you can also turn off the haptic so these are some of the basic tips through which you can improve the battery life of your iphone now it's time to talk about the ultimate tips through which you can improve the battery life of your iphone so go to the settings go to the privacy and security over here go to the location services and in the location services there are different application different uh, options available for you for example there is always option while using app ask next time never so you can choose while using app for every other app and also use never option if you don't want this app to use location if you're if you have selected always it will be using location in the background always and definitely it will be consuming your battery life so never set to always as you can see i haven't set any application to always so this can help you a lot to save battery go all the way down go into the system services now customize system services according to your choice for example i want to find my iphone to use my location so that is turned on i don't want home kit to use my location because i don't use home kit at all so location is turned off this way you can turn on and off according to your usage and that would also help to save a lot of your battery life now go back now back over here stay in the privacy and security go to the tracking over here turn off the tracking for every other application off it will also help to save a lot of your battery life go back from here go all the way down in the analytics and improvements turn off the analytics and improvements 
basically what it does it shares the uh, performance shares the data with the apple to improve the upcoming devices upcoming um softwares well it is not um, gonna help you in any possible way and it is also consuming battery in the background so just turn this off now go back over here go back now go all the way up into the journal go over here into the background app refresh and turn on or off these background app refresh according to your choice for example um your messages are crucial the whatsapp notifications are crucial so you can turn on the background process if there is any app that you don't care about it is working in the background or not for example over here is a news app or any other like app maybe um a game or something i don't want that this like all all times consuming by battery in the background so i can just turn off according to my choice so you can you know customize the background app refresh you can make according to your choice and also gonna help a lot to improve the battery life now let's move to the section number three that is analysis tip what you need to do is you need to know what thing is consuming your battery life so go to the settings over here go into the battery sections wait for a while and okay here it is now from here you can learn that which app is consuming lot of your battery okay for example i go over here and go on this day i can see there are some applications that are consuming my battery for example home and lock screen is also consuming my battery so what is why it is happening because there are so many widgets this is the widget stack there are two widgets here is another widget stack and there is another widget then widget one two three six widgets over here this is why it is consuming a lot of battery so you could also limit the number of widgets on your home screen if you prioritize your battery life this way you will be able to enhance the battery life of your iphone again these are some of the tips through which you will be able to improve the battery life of your iphone ios 18.1 is out for almost 24 hours now while i'm shooting this video Whenever new iOS update comes out, it takes a couple of days to get stable. So I'm hoping it will get better. Well, if it is not getting better for you, you can you know try all these tips and tricks to improve the battery life of your iPhone. Well, if I go to the settings and go to the battery section over here, as you can see, I use 75% of my battery on the first day of installing iOS 18.1 and it gives me more than six hours of screen on time, which is quite decent. I use Netflix, YouTube, Threads for a more than one hour. So that is a quite handy over here. If I go today, I didn't use my phone much today. I was quite busy. Still, I used around 50% of my device and I got almost four hours of screen on time with some of these applications. Well, these are some of the tips, you know, it is battery life is really improved over here. So you can also get this much battery life by improving the overall performance by you know applying and following all these tips and tricks well this is all from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until that take care and also check out my new wallpaper packs in the description there are the links in the description peace out